Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, Ring of Honor, best in the world pay-per-view this Sunday. I believe it's a Sunday. Maybe it's Saturday. I don't remember right now, actually. I know it's coming up. I know it's going to be a pretty decent show. Let me uh, get the exact date here. Ring of Honor. Best in the world. So 7-Eleven, which is Sunday. We got the one-hour pre-show, which is free. Then we got the full show, which is on Fight TV. I believe the pre-show is also on Fight. I think it's also on YouTube as well. Two big pre-show matches. The first one, we have Dan Housen teaming up with PCO. Taking on the bouncers, Brian Malonis and Beer City Bruisers. I don't really expect a lot of this. More of a squash than anything. I've got the bouncers winning. Now, the second pre-show match, I am expecting it to be good. And I am definitely going to watch it before I watch the main show. We have Demonic Flamido, Flamida versus Ray Horse. Um, these two have had one match against each other. It was from 6-4 TV, TV on J June 4th. Um, they are former six-man tag team champions with Bandito. Uh, if you like Luchador, Lucha Libre style wrestling, which I do. If you've seen Robert Sports Show, you know I do. Um, yeah, this match is going to be pretty pretty epic. Uh, I was hoping to be on the main, main, main card. But you know what? 15, 20-minute match on the pre-show. To get us a hype for this card, I'm all for it. I ain't picking the right horse to win. But again, I don't care if Lomita wins. It's going to be a worth-watching match. Once we hit the main card, we have nine big matches. There's 11 total including those two pre-show matches, unless they've added anything else. That's what I'm double-checking now. They have not. So the first match, we have the ROH World Television title on the line. We have champion Tony Deppen versus Dragon Lee. Uh, Dragon Lee was champion. He was the second-longest TV champion in Ring of Honor history at 469 days, only trailing Jay Lethal's 545-day run now. Dragon Lee lost the title at the 19th anniversary show, but he did not lose the title. He was sick at the time, I believe. I think it was COVID-related. Ring of Honor let one of his uh, foundation members, Kenny King. No, wait, wrong faction. Too many factions in Ring of Honor right now. Uh, oh, lost uh, Hingar Nobles. Team member, Kenny King. Um, takes place. Kenny King lost to Tony Deppin. Uh, one thing that's been really cool about this Tony Deppin, I think it's a 110 day run, I believe that's what it, we're at. Um, he has actually taken that title into other companies and has actually had it around his waist. He hasn't defended it, which is fine with me, but the fact that he showed up on Game Changer, he showed up on Beyond Wrestling, coming out wearing the Ring of Honor Television Championship. And the announcers are going, it's Ring of Honor's television champion, Tony Depp. But I'm like, that's just, that's cool. To me, that's one of those things where that's only I like about independent wrestling. You can do stuff like that, you know. You know this is the Ring of Honor champion with title belts in his hand. Impact Roman Tag Titles, Fire and Flavor, they've done that. Jordan Grace has done that with multiple titles she's held. Um, let's see, where's his title? Right? That's what I was looking up here. He is currently at, oh, sorry, 65-day title run uh, from the anniversary show where he uh, where he beat Tracy Williams for it on Ring of Honor Wrestling TV show, and it, and it aired on May 1. Dragon Lee lost to Tracy Williams at 19th anniversary, so 65 days ago. Dragon Lee's title was officially 469. Lethal's was 567. Those are the two longest TV title reigns in history. Um, I actually look at Dragon Lee getting this title back to be one of four two-time uh, Ring of Honor te television champions besides Kenny King, Salas Young, Roderick Strong, and Jay Lethal. Um, I think putting it on Deppin was just kind of that, you know, here, give the indie guy the title, you know, let him kind of travel with it a little bit, and we're going to put it in on one of our guys. Um, either way this match goes, I'm all in. I think it's going to be a pretty good match because you got two different styles here. you got the high flying Luchador and Dragon Lee. You've got the kind of a ma more mat based wrestling and more kind of uh, catches cat scan style on Tony Deppin. Um, I am picking Dragon Lee to win, uh, but I believe it's going to be a really good match. Next up, we have a last man standing match, which, yeah, I could care less about this match. This could be on the pre show if you ask me. 
Josh the Goods Woods versus Silas Young. Um, the kind of way this match got built, <sighs> Silas Young was, look, was looking for a young boy to teach because Silas Young is the last real man. And he started teaching, taking Josh Woods under his wing. They were tagging partners for a while. Silas ended up turning on in Woods. They had two matches on the Ring of Honor television. They were 1-1, one, one, so each guy won a, won a match. Now this is the payoff match. It's the last man standing. I honestly doesn't, don't think it is any good for Silas Young to win this. I think Josh Woods will get a little bit from it if he wins. If he loses, it's going to hurt him. So I am picking Josh Woods to win. Uh, next up, we have your Ring of Honor World six-man titles on the line. And we have Shane, Shane Taylor Productions, who, only have, who actually have the titles right now. Shane Taylor, Khan, and Moses going up against three guys that were just randomly thrown together. Um, Dax Draper, Dalton Castle, and Eli Isom. Um, these guys have really haven't been working together at all. It's been kind of just randomly thrown together. Um, they've had the title of Shane Taylor Productions 141 days. That's amazing. They won it in February of this year. Um, they ended up beating uh, Mex Squad for it. It was part of all the TV tapings and everything. Um, but yeah, I just there's no reason really at this point to take it off Shane Taylor Productions. Let these three random guys win. I mean, as big as Shane Taylor is, Connor Moses aren't small guys. Eli Asim is a small guy. Dak Draper not really goes with Dalton Castle, so it's like this would be the most random. If you look at the history of these six mans, the Kingdom had it. The Briscoes and Bully Ray, it's kind of random. Dalton Castle and the boys who actually wrestle in, in um, OVW right now. Uh, the Hung Bucks, which was Young Bucks and Adam Page. SoCal, so, uh, SoCal Uncensored, The Kingdom, Bull Club. So you've actually been on Enterprises, Mexico Squad. So you've had true team holders, just like Shane Taylor Productions. So you're not putting the title on these three random dudes. So I got Shane Taylor Pro Productions retaining the title. It's going to be a squash match. Next up, we have the Briscoes, J. Mark Briscoe versus Brian Johnson and PJ Black. <sighs> Honestly, I don't expect a whole lot from this match. If you follow Ring of Honor television, the weekly shows, we had Mark Briscoe versus Jay Briscoe. Fight on the farm. Holy hell, this was just... It was a, it was a fight. Two guys fighting. I mean, literally, they have a, an old ring falling apart in the barn. And their Papa Briscoe was there, kind of the referee. And, I mean, just kind of the, you know, and the, as the guys are I mean, time, they fought all, all over the freaking farm. He kept going, you guys done yet? Yeah, we're done. And they slug one another. It's like they just had some been up frustration. They said to beat it out of each other, and they're fine now. So they're teaming up here. I think it's going to be just a squash. It's going to kind of get the Prescott's back on the same page, get them back to be their 11-time tag team champion selves. Because they haven't been. When was the last time they were tag team champions? It's been a minute. Yeah, they haven't been champions since 2019. That was a 146-day title run. Um, so, yeah, they're due. Um, so I think this is more of a getting back on the same page. They fought each other. Let's get, we get everything out in the open. Let's get back on the same page. Let's move on. Let's regain, become a 12-time tag team champion. Oh, them boys. Them boys from Sandy Fork, Delaware. Um, but, yeah. I got the Briscoes winning that handily. That's going to be a squash as well. Uh, next up, we have the Ring of Honor World Tag Titles on the line. We have the Foundation, which is Rhett Titus and Tracy Williams, um, all, along with Jay Lethal and uh, Jonathan Gresham. That's the full foundation. Um, they've held the titles for 102 days. They end up beating La Federación and Grenoble, which is Dragon Lee, Kenny King, Roosh. Um, so yeah, I look at this being a really good match. They're going up, going up against Violence Unlimited, which is Chris Dick Dickinson, Dirk Daddy, and, Ho and uh, Homicide. Along with Brody King and Tony Depp, and are also a member of Violence Unlimited. Just faction glory right now, which is great. I love these four, these four main factions they have. But yeah, um, Violence Unlimited, I think they debuted at 19th anniversary. Um, so Brody King... Tony Deppin, Dirty Daddy, Chris Dickinson, who's been huge on the Indies for a while now, and Homicide, 
He's actually a former Ring of Honor World Champion. Um, so he's back at Ring of Honor. I actually had the foundation retain. They've only had the titles for 102 days. Um, if you look at Ring of Honor, 425 days for the foundation the first time. 146 for the Briscoes. 219, 168. This isn't a long title run. Um, which I have no problem with Valance. I let me get the titles here, but I think the foundation are going to retain. It's going to be a damn good match, though. Uh, next up, kind of a, just kind of a little put-together match. We have EC3 versus Flip Gordon. Um, I'm kind of excited to see what comes out of this. Um, I am picking Flip Gordon to win, but I want to see what they do with EC3 because he is supposedly signed with Impact Wrestling and with Ring of Honor. I want to see, and he's been doing some stuff on the indies as well, because I want to really see what they do with him here. Flip Gordon, we all know he used to be part of the Elite Ball Club. Um, he's kind of been a hired gun of late. He was with Villain Enterprises. He was feeding with Bully Ray. Well, Villain Enterprises is gone. He's just kind of got left to do nothing. So he's kind of on his own now. So we'll see where this goes. Um, but I am picking Flip Gordon to win this. I want to see him get kind of back into the title picture where he belongs. He's a talented wrestler who just needs a direction right now. Uh, next up, we have, we're going to have a pure title on the line. We have champion Jonathan Gresham versus Mike Bennett. Yes, that Mike Bennett from Murray Monitor on to WWE, on to release, into rehab, back to Ring of Honor. Um, supposedly he's got everything under control, and he is on his way back up with Matt Taven as part of the original um, Kingdom. Um, the OK, the original Kingdom. Um, but yeah, John Gresham, pure title. You're never seen a pure title, pure rules match, you get three rope breaks, that's it. Once you use your three rope breaks, you can get pinned in the ropes. Um, you get one close fish to the face, and the second one you get DQ'd. If anybody gets involved, they are fired from Ring of Honor. They brought the pure title back here a while back. Um, oh, I forgot the Ring of Honor tag titles. Foundation versus Violence Unlimited is a fight without honor. Which in Ring of Honor means no disqualification, kind of anything goes. There's no honor involved. We can do whatever we want. Um, but the pure title was re... Oh, that sucker redone. It was redone in 2020. So it was unified with the world title by Nigel McGuinness and Brian Danielson in 06. It was redeveloped back in 20, late 2020 to bring honor back to Ring of Honor. Um, John Gresham is the only one to hold it since it's been back. This is his fifth title defense. He's had 307 plus days. But he is the prototypical kind of map based octopus, is his nickname. It tells you right there. Um, ground guy, pewter wrestling. I don't look at him taking the title off anytime soon. I would love to see Zach Super Jr. come and have them two just have a map based wrestling match. And for the title, that'd be fun. But I'd grab him beating Mike Bennett here. Um, next up, we have Jay Lethal versus Brody King. Kind of leader. I mean, Jay Lethal is kind of the leader of the foundation. Him and Gresham together. And Brody King is the leader of Violence Unlimited. So we kind of got two faction leaders going against each other. So I'm picking Jay Lethal to win that. And then the main event, we have the Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Title Line. We have Champion Rouge versus Bandito. Uh, Bandito has held several titles in Ring of Honor, the Six Man and the Tech titles. He has never been a world champion, but he is young, talented. Um, he is the type of guy that you can build on. Same way with Roosh. They have one match these two has, have ever had against each other in their history. That was amazing when I read that. Um, which Roosh is... He's actually still pretty young. He's 32... He's actually the brother to Dragon Lee. He's a brother of Mystico 2 as well. Um, so he's come from a luchador family of wrestlers. The same way with Bandito. He is the... Let's see here. Yeah, he's a fourth generation. Oh, great grandfather, grandma. Yeah, he's a fourth generation luchador. He's only 26. He is young as hell. Um, so he was trained by the Ultimo Guerrero. So yeah, he's had a career in PWG and AAA in Mexico. He's had a little stint in New Japan now in Ring of Honor. 
Um, multiple time tag team champion. He's, you know, he's held the six man titles in Ring of Honor. He's held the Progress tag titles with Flamita, who's facing Ray Horace. He's won the Battle of Los Angeles. He's current and reigning PWG World Heavyweight Champion. PWG should be beginning shows again here in 2021. Um, but yeah, it's a young, talented guy that I think the only thing you can do at this point. Um, is uh, give him the title. This is actually a rematch from two years ago, Ring of Honor, at a 17th anniversary. There was no title line. It was Roosh versus Bandita. Roosh won. Um, right now, Roosh has the third longest title run in Ring of Honor history at 456 days. Joe, 645, and Nigel, 545, the only two longer. If Roosh loses here and then regains the title on the line, he would be one of five to be two-time champion. Um, so yeah, I I like Roosh. I don't like. Uh, I mean, I don't want them to take the title off him. He's held it. He's actually two-time champion right now, so he's the one of five two-time champions. Cole's a three-time champion. Eris, Lethal, Jay Briscoe, and Roosh are all two-time champions. He's held this title since February 29, twenty twenty, four hundred eighty-eight days. So, Bring of Honor's last big show before the pandemic was in St. Saint, in Saint Charles, Missouri, Gateway to Honor. He won the title from PCO. He's held it ever since, obviously, because of the pandemic. Um, so, I think it's actually time for them to move on with that title, which this match should be match of the night, which it should be an event. Um, but that is, and I got, I'm, again, I'm picking Ben Gator to win. So, I got the world title change in, I got the pure title retained, I got the tag title retained, I got the six man title. Um, retain, and I had the TV title changing. Um, so a couple little freshen it up as we move forward. We have already announced Glory by Honor. Um, when did we have that announced already? Just a second here, pull that up. Which is, if you look at WWE terms, Best in the World is kind of like their Rumble, SummerSlam kind of. And then Bound, or, um, hold on. Glory by Honor is their mania. So they've already announced their Glory by Honor show in Philadelphia. I believe it's at the 2300 Arena. Um, it's going to be on the 20th and 21st, the two-day show. Uh, which makes sense because if you look at it, their big show is Glory by Honor. It's two days. WrestleMania has been two days. Wrestle Kingdom has been two days. I know Triple Mania, as far as I know, is going to only be one day. I think Bound for Glory for Impact Wrestling, which is their WrestleMania show, will be one day. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. I think this show is going to be pretty good. There's going to be some trash here. I mean, Silas Young and Josh Woods is not going to be good. The six-man title is going to be there. Briscoes versus Johnson Blocks will be ugh. Um, but yeah, the good matches that um, Flamino versus Ray Horace pre-show match is going to be great. TV title should be pretty good. Um, the World Tag title should be good. Violence Unlimited Foundation. EC3 and Flip Gordon be good. Pure title should be all right. Lethal King will be good, and then Roosh and Mandito will be good. All right, so that wraps up the Ring of Honor Best in the World preview. See you tomorrow Sports Show for the review sometime early next week once I get the show watched and be able to do it. Um, also, see you tomorrow Sports Show for the lead up for Slammiversary, which is the 17th, I believe. Yeah, Slammiversary is the 17th. The Warrior Wrestling's um, Stadium Show is the 17th, and then. Money in the Bank is on the 18th, so I got a couple big videos for Slam Anniversary, and then I have some stuff for Money in the Bank as well, plus previews on them and NASCAR stuff as well. So there's a lot of videos coming this next week or so here on Robert Sports Show. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day, Robert Sports Show. Your YouTube leader, Sports Channel content.